Howdy fellas! Finally, the developers are releasing meaningful updates that actually fix issues in the long-suffering Counter-Strike 2. This time, we got 114MB Cs to update and several hints at future major Cs to updates. Today, let's start with some good news. Michael Jackson Peak is back. Now about the CS2 update itself. From a technical standpoint, the developers fixed the issue where the ops muzzle was visible when aiming. We could joke about how they should have done an anti-cheat instead, but that's been discussed to death already. On the Nuke map, they fixed a bug that prevented grenade blast from destroying ventilation grates. It's a useful fix, but I wonder who actually tries to blow up those grates with grenades. Some weapon animations were also corrected, as there was a bug where the shell would eject twice when firing. The list of technical fixes ends with various performance improvements. Unfortunately, they didn't specify what exactly was improved, so we'll have to take their word for it. As for CS2 leaks, data miners found many changes in the game files that didn't make it to the official CS2 patch notes, but aren't working in the game yet. This likely means developers are preparing a major update and these small fixes are just a way to buy more time. The developers also uploaded closed DPR branches to Steam, which didn't result in a CS2 update. This suggests they were dealing with errors they couldn't fix and wanted to release something new that wasn't working. Regarding the situation with cheaters and supposedly working back in Overwatch, as I mentioned in my previous video, the game has started reacting to reports, but the situation hasn't changed, and people quickly adapted to understand what can get them banned, and how the Overwatch works is still unclear. So cheaters are still present even at the lowest and highest levels. Traditionally, to not end this on a sad note, let's see what's going on in the Chinese Counter-Strike where it seems like no one cares about cheats in Overwatch. Now go hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on every social media, and watch me streaming on Twitch. That's it for now, folks. I should get going.